After PowerShare Gateway and Universal Wall Connector have been mounted and wired, there are a few steps before the system is ready for use. These steps are closing and energizing the equipment, commissioning Universal Wall Connector followed by PowerShare Gateway with the Tesla One app, and finally, performing both on-grid and off-grid tests. Before energizing the electrical equipment, double-check all wire terminations to ensure that they have been landed on the correct terminals and torque to the specifications listed on the equipment. Take photos of the completed wiring within the electrical panel, wall connector, and power share gateway. Attach wall connector to the wire box and hand-tighten the four fasteners. Turn on the power supply to gateway, wall connector, and home loads. Please note, properly rated PPE is required when gateway is energized while the door and front cover are off. Use caution near any exposed lugs or terminations. Wait at least one minute for gateway and wall connector to boot up. To begin commissioning wall connector, use the Tesla One app to scan the QR code in the wall connector quick start guide. Tap Wi-Fi to connect to the customer's Wi-Fi network. Return to the previous page and tap Software. To enable PowerShare operation, Universal Wall Connector must be updated to 24.12 or later. Please note, performing this update enables a 12-volt power supply from Wall Connector to the TACO inside of PowerShare Gateway. Gateway cannot be commissioned without this update. Return to the previous page and tap Settings. Select which country the installation is in, then wall connector's breaker size to configure the maximum output current. This breaker selection will affect the maximum system current, both to the vehicle during charge sessions and to the home during power share backup. Return to the landing page and exit device setup. Wall connector is now configured and ready to pair with PowerShare Gateway. To begin commissioning PowerShare Gateway, use the Tesla One app to scan this QR code or manually enter the SSID and password from the label. Tap Networking to connect Gateway to the customer's Wi-Fi network. Return to the landing page and update the software to 23.44 or later. Navigate to the System page and tap Scan for Devices. Verify that Universal Wall Connector appears in this list. If it does not, Check the communication wiring between wall connector and gateway, verifying proper color coding and that proper terminations were made on each end. Select wall connector and confirm that the system vitals are healthy. From the landing page, navigate to the settings page. Here, make the appropriate selections for the installation site. The PowerShare grid code will automatically populate on this page. Return to the landing page and tap Start System. The next step in commissioning is to register the system to the customer. Tap on Registration, then Installer Info. Enter the company name along with the installer's phone number and email address, then tap Done. Back on the registration page, tap on Customer Registration. The system can be registered with two different methods. Select Show a Code or text the customer to share a link for customer self-registration or tap Customer is unavailable to complete these fields on their behalf. Please note, the customer email address entered during registration is the link between the product and the customer's Tesla account. Commissioning is not complete until the system has been successfully registered to the customer and is visible in their Tesla app. Install PowerShare Gateway's front cover and secure it with the included screw. Mount the door by aligning the door pins over the hinges and lowering it into place. Close the door and engage the latch. If the PowerShare compatible vehicle is present, use it to perform both on-grid and off-grid system tests. Test the normal charging operation by pressing this button on the charge handle to open the charge port. When plugged in, the LED on the vehicle charge port will turn green, then the LED on wall connector will flow from top to bottom. Verify that the customer's app shows power flowing from the home to the vehicle in green. To manually go off-grid, first, turn off any solar inverters. Then, turn off the main breaker to the home. Warning! 
Failure to turn off solar breakers before the main breaker may result in damage to home loads. Please note, turning off solar breakers is only required for manually initiated off-grid scenarios, not during actual grid outages. The home will temporarily lose power during the transition from grid to vehicle power. Once the home is off-grid, solar inverters can be manually turned back on. Watch for the LED on the vehicle's charge port to turn purple, and for the wall connector LEDs to flow in the opposite direction from bottom to top. Verify that the customer's app shows power flowing from the vehicle to the home in purple. During a manually initiated off-grid scenario, backup loads will function normally, and non-critical loads that are located outside of the backup circuits will not be functional. End the off-grid test by turning the solar breakers off and the main breaker back on. A temporary loss of power during the transition from vehicle power to grid power is expected. The PowerShare home backup system is now fully commissioned and ready to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy.